G'day guys, welcome back to VTA. We've uh, changed it up a bit this week. We've picked ourselves up a uh, grey Fergie. Uh, obviously we already have a grey Fergie. Uh, we have picked this one up for a few reasons, which I'll run you through now. Okay, this tractor, which is actually in surprisingly good condition if you look through the 100 layers of dirt. Um, but our main reason is this lever here. This has a Howard production box in it, uh, which is designed to be used with the Howard rotary hoe. Um, so yeah, there's a little couple other things you can see. This this is part of the Howard uh, rotary hoe setup as well. Uh, we do have a hoe, we just don't have the reduction box. So the plan is with this tractor, we're going to um, pull the reduction box out of this one and put it in ours, and uh, and then get this tractor. Hopefully, depending on how bad the engine is stuck, but depending on how bad it is, um, we'll hopefully get this tractor going and just sell it on. Um, so if you are interested in buying this tractor, let us know. But um, yeah, so hopefully in this video we're going to go Load through this tractor up on the trailer. We'll bring it home, we'll stick it in the shed. We'll see how badly the engine is stuck. And hopefully it won't take too much to get going. Here we go, Dad's on the winch. He'll have a bit of a go and then I'll uh, go in a minute. The only probably real bad thing about this tractor is it's got one uh, one tyre that's rooted. That tyre there doesn't hold in the air, it's off the feed. So. Anyway, we'll get this loaded up and we'll get it on. So here she is. You've got it unloaded here at home. And we're gonna give it a good wash. It has so much build up of dirt and crap on it. So we're gonna get the pressure washer out, give it a good wash, and see how it looks after that. All right, we're giving it a quick wash. Uh, we haven't gone all the way down, but just the worst of it off so we can work on it. Um, you know, you can see a lot of the gray paint coming through as it would have been. There's a uh, blue paint on the engine, which is interesting. Not sure why that would be like that, but um, yeah, anyway, time to stick it in the shed. And we'll probably pull the uh, valve cover off and see what it's like under there. So we've uh, dug into it here. We've got it in the shed. Um, as you can see, we got the head off. It was stuck and we didn't want to just keep pushing it for no reason. So ripped the head off. Need the bores and everything look pretty good. Um, probably going to need a new head gasket. Looks like that damage is getting off, but it is what it is. Um, there's a couple of stuck valves. So that obviously with the head off, we can clean them up easy. Clean out the cooling system. Um... But yeah, we'd like to dig in and figure out why it's, uh, why it's stuck, but that'll be, um, we'll keep working at it and see. Just a quick update on the little TED that we're trying to resurrect and save. Um, we found that there was no rust in the bores on the top, as Stephen showed earlier on. Um, I decided I wasn't going to give up. I wanted to see what was going on. I've stripped the timing cover off, taken the front axle off, axle housing, timing cover, everything off, and I've ascertained that the um, camshaft's not seized. I pulled the distributor out. I've been able to move the camshaft a little bit further backwards and forwards. And what I have found is that there is some significant rust in the bottom of the bores, uh, just in one bore in particular. And uh, I'll try and grab a little video of that in a minute with a camera. But... Um, yeah, it looks like there's just, with, with water or condensation sitting in the sump, uh, it's just, uh, or in the oil pan, as the Americans call it, the sump, um, some rust has formed below, I think it's number two piston is the worst one, and um, it doesn't want to be able to come down. So I'm going to have a go at, um, I'm going to put the timing cover and everything back on, put it back on its wheels, I'm going to get under there and see if I can turn it back a little bit and um, clear that rusty spot and then maybe get up there by hand and just clean the rusty spot so as it can get it to turn over. Um, but I'll make a video of that later. Just underneath here, you can just see pistons one and four are actually below the bore, so they should be okay. And if you can just see in there, piston number, where can I get a look? Um, well, you can probably see here we go, piston number three that is. You can just see the piston's an inch or so above the bottom of the bore and that bore's got quite rusty. So I think that's all the problem is. I'm just gonna try and um, try and push the engine, I'm gonna get under here with a jack and push the engine back uh, the opposite to the way it wants to turn and just see if I can get it to move enough to, to start moving and then we'll go from there. 
Okay, so we jumped ahead here. Dad's been working hard on the TED. Um, basically, it was stuck pretty badly on cylinder number one. Um, so he managed to get piston number one out. Liner basically came with it, which is fair enough. And like, it's pretty scaly in there. So I think we're going to pull all the liners and that way we can clean it out properly and put new seals and stuff in it. Uh, so yeah, so the pistons are over here. They're it's all in reasonably good nick, you know, a new set of rings and a hone and like this is the one it was stuck on. As you can see, we're giving it a quick hone and it'll be completely fine. Um, the rings are all stuck and broken and stuff, which is fine. New set of rings. Um, but yeah, basically we're gonna sort of still plan on doing sort of the minimum, but still get it right. So we're now going to pull the rest of the other three liners. Dad's made up a puller, which is pretty simple. That sit, pulls into the bottom of the liner. Um, this plate just sits on top of the studs. Long threaded rod. Simple as that. No need to overcomplicate it. So, yeah, we're going to get into doing that. Pull the rest of these liners out. And then, realistically, this tractor, this engine will just get cleaned up and put back together as it is. Um, the head will get cleaned up. And, yeah, we'll go from there. Cool. All right, so put that little piece up from underneath. This one, as you can see, it's actually already starting to move. And then it's just a simple case of do this up till it goes loose, which it doesn't have to come up far before it goes loose. Maybe it's come up about an inch, 40 mil, maybe. something like that. So you can see it's coming up easily. And the bottom section of the liner locates in the block, so you just got to get it past there, which, as I said, an inch or so. You can't just leave it. Can't go anywhere. There it is. And done. And that'll lift it out. Easy as that. As I said, it's a good chance to clean all the uh, rust and scale out of the box. Okay, so we've jumped ahead quite a bit here. Uh, last you saw, we were just sort of putting the, um, the engine back together. So essentially, we've got it all completely back together. Manifold on, carby on, Dad's fixed the exhaust. Um, we had the tank that was on it was actually a TEA tank, so it was a single compartment. We've hunted around and we've managed to come up with the correct fuel tank. Um, the radiator, this is the radiator that came off it. It's a bit... How you going? But it's holding water, so that's all that matters. But we've got oil in it, we've got water in it. Um, we're at the point where we can try starting it. The carb is questionable. We haven't rebuilt it, but we'll see what it does. Um, yeah, Dad's gone through, got the starter working, and you've turned it past, Dad. Turn it back a bit. Yeah, it's got to stop. Okay. Well, we've got to figure out something with the fuel tap. We have been playing with the fuel tap. So um, we'll keep figuring out and see what it needs. And yeah, we'll get this thing started soon. All right, a little bit of filling. We sort of worked out what's going on. And um, yeah, we just turned the tap too far, which is easy enough. So we fixed that. And um, the bowl is now leaking. So we'll fix that next. Okay, so we've had a bit of a fiddle. We've got our fuel figured out. Um, we haven't to take the carby apart quickly and just clean it out a little bit. Um, we're gonna see if it's gonna go. It's got power to the coil. It's got power to the coil. I mean, we spin it over and see what it's going to do. It's got fuel, so we'll give it a thing. I'll give it some choke.
Well, there you go. Fergie's running. It's actually running really sweet. So, pretty happy about that. Got a bunch of oil pressure, which is uh, possibly either the gauge is wrong or something's going on. But anyway, we check the linkage. Linkage all works. All four gears work. The high low range works. Um, yeah, that's awesome. Even idle. It, it runs, it runs really well actually. A few little things to sort out. Um, but yeah, really happy with it. So, as I said earlier in this video, the TED that has the reduction box in it to go with our Howard uh, rotary hoe. Uh, one of our main things that we collect is actually Fergie implements, uh, which we've always just used with our, with the TEA that we've had for a long time. Um, now we have this one, um, but of course the TA didn't have the reduction box, so it really would never have been able to run the, the rotary hoe properly. So now we got this little one, um, we're happy with it, you know? It's a it's a 51, it's got the early style block. Um, we've looked into it a little bit on serial numbers and it's a very, very early 12 volt one. Um, and yeah, so it's got the 19 inch front wheels, which the other one's got 16s. Um, yeah. Down, Downswept exhaust. Downswept exhaust, it's yeah, it's just a really nice little tractor. Um, we're probably gonna leave it looking, obviously put the bonnet back on it and stuff, we're gonna leave it looking basically as it is, and yeah, we're really happy with it. Um, so yeah, like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.